Hello, Internet, and welcome back to an Author Plays Hurricane Feed the Beast Mod Pack, episode 13. We have ourselves a crusher and some other stuff that I'll show you guys upstairs here in a moment. But first things first, we got the crusher finally. Uh, took about another stack and a half of iron, but as you can see, we're now going ahead and making ourselves some coke dust. So we'll be making ourselves some graphite fun stuff here in a moment. Uh, while that's processing, actually... Uh, let me just real quick look up this recipe that I need, the HOP graphite ingot. And then this, uh, four of them are used to make the electrode. Oh, we're done. Nice. Okay, cool. Well, I've got our, we've got ourselves, rather, two sets of graphite control rods here, now in the form of coke dust, which we just need to cook off. Anyways, I'm gonna get this set to cooking. And while we're doing that, I'll also show you guys some of the work that I've been doing in Agricraft. Now, it's nothing uh, too impressive, I guess you could say, uh, in the sense that like I don't have 10, 10, 10 for everything yet because ugh, I just I just don't. Um, but oh, uh, cook please. Uh, huh. Okay. HOP graphite dust. Did I do something wrong? Oh, this is coke dust. How do I make this? Uh, you need to go in a squeezer. Okay. Oh, how did you get down here? What the hell? Now, one of these days I'm gonna get around to installing a door, but that is neither here nor there. Okay, so let's go ahead and get this cooking. Uh, and then I will show off what I have so far for Agricraft. Uh, spoilers thus far. Uh, let's see. Squeezer. There we go. Uh, spoiler for what I've been done. Blah, 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 blah. Let's try that again. Spoiler for what I've been doing so far. Um, I have we have for ourselves uh, lapis, iron, and redstone plants. So I'll come over here because I know these plants tend to be disabled in mod packs. There we are. So we got lapender seeds right here, feranium for iron nuggets, uh, which I can't pick up because my inventory is full, and I'm gonna mess this up. Redstododron. I don't know. Sounds like a dinosaur. Either way. Uh, let me quickly shove some stuff here in this book bag so we don't waste that iron nugget. And I guess we're going to waste some tea leaves. Oh well. Uh, so, we have gone ahead and made these. Now, these plants are all basically 111. Just basic old plants. Um, it looks like mutations are enabled again. Ooh, I'm definitely going to wear this. And, uh, actually, now that I think about it, we should go ahead and make ourselves some coffee. But, anywho. So, uh, the plan for today is to get our arc furnace online so we don't have to use that stupid blast furnace ever again to make steel. Um, uh, I'm just not a huge fan of it. <laughs> uh, it takes a long time to do stuff, and it means I have less time to make content for you guys, and that's no bueno. So, anyways. Get ourselves some espresso. It's not going to be super great for us because I've been drinking a lot of coffee, but what are you going to do, right? Come on, drink it! There we go. Alrighty then. So, this down, these things down here should be done. Let's see. HOP graphite. And then, oh, balls, I need, I need one more. I'm going to need one more HOP because we need four ingots to make, what, one rod, right? Let's see. So, the use is for you. Uh, it takes four to make the electrode. And I need 12. And 12 times... Oh, man, I need a lot more of these. Crud. Okay. Well, let's grab you. And I guess you guys will do as well. So, I did not math this out very well. I was hoping to just kind of pop these electrodes in and away we go. But anyways, uh, what I'll go ahead and do is be right back once we've got ourselves the electrodes. Okay, guys, and we're back. So, oh, there we go. I didn't realize that you weren't able to make <laughs> the engineer's blueprints, um, or at least this particular one. You're able to make the common projectiles one uh, using various uh, dyes and so forth. Um, but the specialized projectiles and arc furnaces, you gotta go talk to villagers. So that's where I've been, is doing that. Uh, but the good news is we now have the electrodes that we need. So we'll just go ahead and stick these guys up here, and bam! The arc furnace is ready to operate. So let's just make sure that this will work. Let's go ahead and get steel ingot 
from immersive engineering. Let's see, in the arc furnace, steel ore not so helpful, but iron ingot plus coke dust. Okay. Let's see, let's go grab that stuff just to make sure. And we'll go from there. Uh, now, once I've got, you know, once I'm certain that this is, you know, operational, uh, what I'm going to be doing is actually shifting gears a little bit. Uh, admittedly to something I'm a little bit more comfortable with, but something that I feel I'll be able to progress with a lot further. Uh, and that is, uh, well, I can show you right here. We're going to get into blood magic. Uh, I'm not sure if a recent update put in blood magic or if it's been here the whole time and I just wasn't paying attention. But blood magic is absolutely one of my favorite mods to play with. Um, and I'm not just saying that simply because it is a magic mod. No, that is a big reason. Um... It mainly comes down to the, uh, just, I really like the mechanics is really the best way I, that I can put it. I really enjoy, <coughs> excuse me, I really enjoy, um, the sort of ultimate power for at what cost kind of, kind of idea. It's, it's interesting to me to explore what a person would or would not do for a sort of perceived power. So, okay, so we start processing that. And one assumes we're going. Oh, yep, there we go. So we got that little progress bar ticking up right there. This is so much faster than waiting on the blast furnace. Oh, my goodness. Oh, all of my yes. Oh, yes. That was way better. Okay, thank God. Okay, yeah, let's go ahead. Let's go ahead and uh, do the whole blood magic thing. So... Um, I've already got the recipe here ready for the altar, which isn't changed from the base mod. Uh, and then we're also going to need to grab ourselves a little, a little pokey knife. Just to, uh, you know, actually do the deed as it were. I'll just set this right here for now. There we go. And one more for luck. Put you right in there, and we'll let that process while I go ahead and get myself some food, because we're going to need a lot of it. Now, I'm also going to need to go ahead and get ourselves, I think it's a presser or a squeezer, uh, whatever it is that makes tofu um, out of soybeans. So I'm going to need to do that here relatively soon. But in the meantime, I can definitely grab ourselves some veggie strips. So let's see, and then one, two, three... There we go. Some delicious broccoli for us to partake in. Uh, and let's see, I think I put the bakeware. Yep, the bakeware is in here. And then we'll just need a little bit of salt. There we go. So put you up here. Put this up here. Put you right there. Salt right there. Veggie strips. Nice. I'm doing that mainly for the... Uh, the, sati the satiation rather than the actual hunger, since that's really what's going to help us. Oh, crap. We are... We're losing... That's strange. I th always thought it was 2,000. Huh. That's weird. I always thought it was 2,000 for the weak blood orb. Did I mess up the math somewhere? Let's see. Weak blood orb. Yeah, 2,000. I put 10 hearts in there. What the heck? Okay, well, that's strange. So, yeah, because so, each heart is supposed to be 200 LP, and I put 10 hearts in there. So I shouldn't have lost anything. Hmm. I'm not quite sure what happened there, but I'll go just go ahead and get us a, a divination sigil, and we'll see what happened. Maybe something has occurred where, uh... Ooh, that drippy blood orb thing I've never seen before. Wait for that to cycle through. What was that? Oh. Infinity ingots. Neuronium. What is Arvoridia? Oh, my. Well, it looks like we've got some very interesting endgames to make our way to, don't we? Goodness. Extremely primordial pearl. What the hell? Okay, you know what? Not a problem. Uh, let's see, we're going to need to get ourselves some more glass. Put you in here. One, two, three. 
craft that up. Because we're going to need ourselves a, div a divination sigil. It's easy for me to say, isn't it? Uh, and I'm also going to need to grab some smooth stone. So, yeah, blood magic I feel I'm going to be able to make a lot more progress with because I, I'm more familiar with it. I won't be stumbling around trying to find what it is that I need to do, so on and so forth. There we go. Uh, just to make sure... Blank slate should be a thousand, right? That was three hearts in there, so I need to put two more in. Hmm. What are... Mine chem wouldn't be a terrible thing for me to get into now that I've got power, uh, because then I can make myself penicillin and get some regen going on that way. In fact, that may be a good idea to do once I've got this divination sigil to make sure everything goes okay. Just put you right in there. Just wait for that to fill up. Yeah, mine can wouldn't be terrible, because thankfully mine can doesn't take a whole lot of... Oh, nope, it's not what I want. There we go. Uh, oh, crap, that's right, I need the orb. <laughs> I forgot that you need the blood orb first. Oh, man. No, I know what I'm doing with magic mods, I swear, internet. Trust me. Yeah. I'm sure all you lovely folks out there believe me when I say that. All right, well... I guess while we're waiting, we can go ahead and get ourselves situated with Mind Chem as well. Let's see. So, Chemical Turtle, not so much what I need. Decomposer. Uh, we're going to need a bunch of iron. Let's see. Glass. Synthesizer. Fusion walls. Tungsten plating. Ghost blocks, that's interesting. All right, well, we're definitely going to need a bunch of iron here, and I, I, I believe a bunch of iron is something I'm severely lacking, yeah. Uh, okay, definitely going to have to check on the quarry, because, oh, well, I don't have enough iron to get into mine camp, quite honestly. How's this coming along? There we go. Okay, so I'll tell you what, I will go ahead and be right back. Uh, we'll go ahead and double-check the quarry. We will fill up our blood altar as we can and go from there. Okay guys, and we're back. So, as you can see, I've gone ahead and got ourselves a chemical synthesizer and decomposer. I'm just gonna have them kind of floating attached to this uh, capacitor here for the time being. I know it looks a little silly, but eh, temporary base at all, we'll, we'll get that working. Uh, I should have enough LP once I poke myself a little bit more. There we go. Should have enough LP to go ahead and make ourselves a weak blood orb, so I'll grab a diamond and go ahead and stick that in there for us. I'm also going to grab uh, a bunch of saplings for us to utilize because, well, we're going to need a lot of carbon and so forth. So let's go ahead and grab these saplings. Uh, and I should also grab some gunpowder, assuming that I can locate it. I only have one gunpowder. Huh. Because we're going to need sulfur to make penicillin. Uh, we're also going to need a chemist's journal. Let's see. Forgot about the journal. Also need a microscope, too. Chemist journal is just a book in glass. Uh, let's see. I should be able to make that with sticks, string, and the blank patterns, which I think I have some over here. I do. Okay, so we'll go ahead and bring this up. Sticks. Uh, not sticks. Paper. Wow, I'm an idiot. Oh, man, I don't know where my head is. Uh, paper. One, two, three, paper. There we go. Book. Go ahead and take out some glass. Make ourselves a little journal. Okay, and then for the microscope... I know I'm gonna need iron for that, so I'm gonna have to break for some iron, but we're gonna need two concave lenses, and or one concave lens and two convex. So that's gonna be a total of 17, I think I saw. Let's see. So go ahead and make two of these, and then one of these makes a lens. Then we just need a glass pane and five more iron ingots. So grab that, 
think I managed to use every single bit of iron. Yeah, I managed to use every single bit of iron that we needed. So I'm gonna have to break real quick while we go ahead and get ourselves some iron. Okay guys, and we're back, and we got ourselves here a fancy little microscope. Nice. So let's go ahead and get ourselves, well, working on chemistry, right? So let's go ahead and bring this on down here. There we go. I'm not quite sure why I got heat stroke going on, but I'm not going to worry about it too much. Microscope, put you in here and learn that trees are made of cellulose. Interesting. Rotten flesh is made of nodularin. Wow, that is a lot of stuff. Interesting. Oak wood made of a bunch of cellulose. Stone is made up of a bunch of this nonsense. Stone hoe, got nothing. Crops, got nothing. Knife, got nothing. Water bottle, there we go. Figured out what water bottle is made of. Iron sword? Nope, nothing. Uh, redstone. Copper and iron dioxide. Good to know. Let's see, what else could I learn? Um, I think that's everything. I bench? Nope, okay. So let's go over here to our chemical decomposer. And we're going to break down... Let's break down this rotten flesh, actually. And then if we take... So, from there, we can take this nodularin and do that. And then we break this down. Uh, we're also going to need a little bit of sulfur. Um, now the question is, what can I break down to get sulfur outside of gunpowder? So is there anything that has sulfur dioxide, perhaps? Uh, let's nope, just, just a bucket of sulfur dioxide. OK, well, what about sulfuric acid? Nope. So we're stuck trying to find something that has sulfur in it. So let's see, wind turbine, fluivac, steam engine. There's gotta be something here we can utilize. Engineer's blueprints, I am not doing that. That is not gonna happen, game. Hmm. Yeah, pretty much anything that has gunpowder as a recipe is also going to require us to, uh, or is also going to have sulfur in it. All right, well, we're just going to have to break down some gunpowder, because I don't really know what else I can do, unless I can synthesize gunpowder somehow, which I'm sure I can. I just don't really have the, yeah, sulfur itself. Uh, using sulfur again. Centrifuging down a powdery comb, which would require bees. Saltpeter in an enrichment chamber. Uh, flint in a crusher. Centrifuging blaze powder. Hmm. Uh, I can duplicate it using coal and sand. Uh, carbon, potassium, nitrate, and sulfur, which I don't have. Yep, we're just going to have to break down some gunpowder. Unfortunate, but what else can you do, right? So let's go ahead and get that gunpowder here. There we go. Now, this won't make a whole lot of penicillin. I'm looks like I'm going to have to probably make myself a tinker sword with looting and go kill some creepers. I don't seem to have many other options here. So I'll put you in here and then decompose. And this potassium nitrate we'll put in here as well to learn how that's made. Okay, now for penicillin. Penicillin. So if we go over here to the chemical synthesizer, we need 16 carbon, 18 hydrogen, 2 nitrogen, 4 oxygen, and a sulfur. So we're going to only be able to make two either way. Not the worst thing ever. So let's do one of these. And synthesis. Okay, so we need 1, 2, 3, 4, 16 carbon, 18 hydrogen, one, two, three. Gonna need two nitrogen. One, two. Uh, we need four oxygen. One, two, three, four. And a sulfur makes penicillin. Bam! Penicillin. And just to make sure we learned how... Oop. Let's go ahead and make as many as we can. And just to make sure that we know how to make it. Boom, there it is. It's now in our journal. So... Penicillin has the lovely ability to give us regen 4. And I, oh, I didn't grab a diamond. 
Uh, I told myself I was going to make a diamond, or not make a diamond, get a diamond, and we didn't get a diamond. We're going to put this potassium nitrate in here while we're thinking about it. And we'll go ahead and make ourselves some cellulose. I want to have a backstock of all the organic stuff. <coughs> Excuse me, all the organic atoms. Uh, so, you know, carbon, oxygen, hydrogen. I want to try and have as much of that available because a lot of stuff is made using those. Go figure. It's almost like we're based off of carbon. Hmm. Anyways, so I want to make sure that we have uh, all of the molecules to make additional sources of penicillin and so forth later. Uh, now, from what I remember, penicillin gives regen 4. I don't know if that's entirely accurate. Let's see. There we go. Put you in here. And there we go. Yep, regen 4. Yeah, look at us go. So yeah, mine chem was definitely the way to go here. Jeez, look at that thing go. It's obviously not two minutes. I was wrong about that. But still, knowing that we can just kind of blitz up like this is phenomenal. Right, this may be the first playthrough that I go through that I can actually uh, justify self-sacrifice runes instead of sacrifice. We'll find out, I guess, once this blood orb is finally made. I'm about to lose my regen. There it is. Come on, blood altar. Do your thing. Make us a weak blood orb. You can do it. Ah there we go. Bam. Nice. And now, I don't have the glass on me. So, uh, what I'm going to go ahead and do is get this uh, divination sigil online for us. And I'm going to start blitzing on through blood magic. Um, and try to stick, try to get us a little bit more established in mind chem as well. Uh, let's see, where's that glass? There you are. So, with that said, if you guys enjoyed yourselves, because uh, I am going to be finishing up, but if you guys enjoyed yourselves, and you want to see more of Hurricane Feed the Beast Mod Pack, make sure you do that YouTube trifecta, like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll catch you guys in the next chapter. Bye-bye. Okay, guys, and we're back. So, apparently, you're not... Apparently, the Blast Furnace made... Um, rail, rail craft blocks of steel, rather. And immersive engineering only builds multi blocks when you use the block of steel from immersive engineering. So I had to use creative to give me that stuff because I made the, I mean, I made them. I just apparently got the wrong one out of the output. So.